Part 4 Flash Door Panel Let's start Let's create a new family Okay Select the metric generic model Open Let's change the scale 1 is to 10 Select the category, select the doors. Okay, check work plane base. Okay, next, uh, select reference plane, draw a reference plane, select mirror <coughs> dimension, dimension this three reference plane make it equal select these two reference plane select the dimension and select the width ok go to create select reference plane create two reference plane uh, se select reference plane mirror dimension Dimension this three reference plane make it equal. Dimension the two reference plane select and select the thickness. Go to family types, uh, change the thickness to 45 millimeter and the width to 1000 millimeter and the height. 2100 millimeter okay go to create select the extrusion select the rectangle draw a rectangle align select the reference plane align lock align select the line lock align lock align Okay, lock. Next, finish the extrusion. Go to front elevation. A zoom. Create a reference plane. Dimension. Okay. Select the dimension, uh, select the height label, okay, align, align this rectangle, lock, next go to reference label, create select reference plane create a reference plane dimension okay select the dimension and create a new parameter and name this lock set <coughs> offset okay Next, let's insert the door handle or the lock set. Let's go to my family. Let's look for the door handle. Open. Okay. Next, reference. Le uh, check the family let's load this to the family pipe okay next okay pick okay select the door handle let's change the type to label labor handle with deadbolt okay 
Next, align the door handle. Lock. Okay, select the door handle. Uh, check the thickness. Pick the button and select the thickness in our parameter. Okay. Go to front. Now let's let's create a reference plane. Draw a horizontal reference plane. Dimension. <coughs> okay. Select the dimension. Create new parameter. Uh, name it lock set height. Okay. Next. Go to family types. Let's change the lock set height to 1000 millimeter. Apply. The lock offset. Just me. Let's change this to 70 millimeter. Okay. Now align. Select the reference plane and align the lock set. Okay. Next. Select the door. Go to material and finishes. Let's create a new parameter. Let's name this flash door finish. Okay. Next, go to family types. Select a flash door finish material. Let's open the material library select home select the AEC materials okay, select the wood and let's look for let's say the wood insert right click rename and name this wood slash flash door finish okay okay next let's make it realistic okay next go to object style let's change the blue to black okay okay next go to reference level uh, let's create a reference plane draw a reference plane here dimension okay select this reference plane and change the dimension to 30 millimeter select the dimension and lock okay create a reference plane let's make a reference plane here dimension okay I mentioned this reference plane and this reference plane okay select the dimension create new parameter and this is the accent width okay next let's create an extrusion select rectangle Draw a rectangle. Okay. Align. Align this line. Align. Select reference plane. Align lock. Okay. Select this reference plane. Lock. Okay. Align lock. Select this reference plane. Align lock. Okay. Select this line, change the value to 1 millimeter. Select this line, change the value to 1 millimeter. Okay, finish the extrusion. Go to front elevation, align. Select this reference plane, align, lock. Okay. 
family types select the extrusion go to visible pick the button create parameter and let's name this accent on and off so you can turn off or on okay for the materials create new parameter let's name this accent finish it can be a laminate or a stainless sheet next go to family types select the materials select home ok select the AEC materials let's look for metal let's say aluminum <coughs> right click rename and name this aluminum accent <coughs> finish or accent door or aluminum accent door okay next uh, okay next um, <coughs> go, uh, go to family types change the accent width to 200 okay 3d go to realistic okay let's see okay okay I'll save let's save this and need flash door panel save then load into the project and close okay select the place on work plane pick <coughs> a line pick the center line of the door panel placeholder and select the flash door center line lock then select this this uh, select the door panel placeholder and uncheck the visible so it will not show up in our project next align select this line align this door flash door and lock next go to family types <coughs> let's try the open opening angle change it to 90 okay uh, 30 degrees okay next select the flash door panel we need to map all the parameters uh, offset from hose select the seal height okay go to edit types okay accent finish okay select uh, let's create the parameter <coughs> accent finish Okay, parameter accent finish already defined. Okay, so select the accent finish here. So flash door finish. Select the flash door finish here. So accent width. Pick the button. Select the accent width. Okay, lock set height. Select and select the height. Uh, lock set height lock set offset pick the button select the lock set offset 
thickness select the thickness width select the width okay and the height select the actual height <coughs> Okay. Next, let's look at the 3D. Change the scale. One is to one. Okay. Let's select the door place panel holder. I hide. Okay. Let's test the parameter. Accent width 200. Okay, the height, let's say <coughs> 2000 millimeter. Okay, good. Let's go back to 2100. And the uh, lock set height, let's say 800 if you want. And the wind, let's say 800 also. Apply. Okay. Let's go back to 1000 with 1000 okay let's change the opening angle 90 okay very good let's go back to 20 okay next uh, let's open the door project Okay, select open. Okay, select the previous one. Delete. Let's go back to the family. Okay, save. And load into project and close. Okay, insert the door, the flash door. Okay, pick. Okay, select the door. You can turn up the door casing one and the door, jo door jam double rabbited. Okay, so select again. Let's try the opening angle, let's say 80 degree. Let's change the door casing one and the double rabbited. Okay, very good. Let's go back to 20 degrees. Okay, let's look at the 3D. Okay, now we have the flash door. Okay, see you in part 5. Thank you.